Yesterday we got incredible news of a huge reveal from Mario Kart Wii 4, which gives us an unexpected treat to look forward to in this year's updates. Not only will we shown this fantastic looking Yoshi Island track, as I'm showing the video of here, um, but they revealed that Birdo would be returning, returning characters no one was expecting, uh, not here. And yeah, as you can see, Birdo. So this video will not only be analyzing the trailer here, but also looking into what this means for future updates as with new characters and also the last update, keep in mind, adding a whole bunch of stuff, most notably the, um, the custom items, which again, no one was expecting and it happened. Wave 2, they updated Coconut Mall. That's like more of just a quality of life thing still. But they do these unexpected things no one anticipates and it's always really fucking good. Now, there is actual confirmation on some stuff, which I will get into. But yeah, yesterday's Nintendo Direct was the first one I, that I saw live and now I, I get why people complain about Directs all the time. You know, cause, because when you're watching, you're looking for specific things from specific franchises. So anything else is naturally mid. You know, and, and that's what the Direct was to me. I, I think there's like objective like quality there. Like like if you're into stuff, like Metroid Prime got like a remake. Dread is ass, it's dreadful. <laughs> so I'm not interested in buying that, but yeah, cool. It, it's just none of it was appealing to me. So <laughs> where, where, where I'm going with this is because of how fucking terrible I find this direct, you know, 40 minutes in, I've wasted my time. Um, looking at all these fucking anime games, uh, so I'm like texting my friend about how disappointed I was that I hadn't even been Mario Kart in this direct. Then I turned to my screen and saw my favorite Mario character, Birdo, racing on one of the dopest tracks I've seen. The, the Yoshi Island track looks fucking phenomenal. S tier track. When when I get to ranking like year two Bruce's things, because I, I I've done year one and that that coincides with my like total one of all the games including all the retro tracks like when i get to, when i get to year two of this i know yoshi Island is coming top tier there's no doubt in my mind that this isn't an s tier track it's like top 10 probably <laughs> it's at least s tier from visuals alone it's so cool but i digress it was absolutely surreal seeing Birdo back, and I, I genuinely cried when I saw her. The Boosticles Pass always delivers, and I continue to stand by my belief that this is the greatest DLC in gaming history. Um, but that, yeah, that's enough gushing now. <laughs> like, I, I just wanted to say, our oh, favorite trans dino carried us direct. Um, yeah, the course itself, we'll move on to, and it's obviously Yoshi Island theme, like the games. Um, and there's a ton of neat stuff, like, um, you got, um, let's see, <laughs> there's so much, you just got various new assets for stuff like the enemies in those games, the track itself looks fantastic, the graphics are phenomenal, again, are people still going to complain about the visuals of this DLC, because they're fucking insane, if they do. This looks so good. The saturation is amazing. The colors are so good. And just seeing all the Yoshis with the different colors and the different colored birds racing around on there, that is peak Mario Kart. You do not get better than that. It's such a cool looking track. I'm so excited to play it. Um, and you can also, like, I, I wanted to point this out because I was seeing anyone else point it out. But you can see unique coins. You see here with the Yoshi face on it, like the ones from the games. When you pick it up, there's a unique coin sliding sound. Just like an the Animal Crossing track or Hyrule Circuit had the emeralds. Uh, Animal Crossing, of course, had the bells from Animal Crossing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's really cool. They've gone all out on this track. Um, there's also these like fine question mark cloud things. When you hit them, as you can see here, it like creates this bridge platform thing like an upper level and i assume there'll be like some item boxes on it or something but that's really cool that's very unique and that's gonna be exciting for you know doing a gliding section 
it's really cool. So yeah, there's just a lot of fantastic attention to detail with this track. And I'm very excited to play it. But what I really want to focus this video on, however, is Birdo. Because I feel there's going to be a ton of analysis on the track itself. And of course, when it comes out, we get to play it. And I don't know if you add except those two little neat details and just saying how good it looks. Like, it's just brilliant. Um, but yes, Birdo. Our Queen Birdo. I want to talk about her because... I want to put it simply, the reveal of Birdo changes everything. And I know I probably said this about the custom items that I added in Wave 3, but with Birdo's addition, anything really is possible for these remaining updates. Firstly, let's discuss Birdo herself. She has nine colors, which you can see here um, in this image. And yeah, you can, which a lot of them were in Tor, but some weren't. I think Tor had like five of the colors. I know some of them are new to a deluxe here, like the inverted colors for the red Birdo, which is very nice. I love that they've added all the colors. It's it's really good. It's going to give it a ton of replayability and shit. Like, like I'm just going to be playing solely Birdo for the next however many months because I am so excited about this. But, yeah, it, but yes, it is nine colors. I know people were unsure about that, but you do get to see nine colors. You even see green all the way at the back there. So yeah, they're all here, just like Shy Guy, just like Yoshi. And yeah, that's very hype. Well, there's something I'd like to note in this image. It's not really a major thing, but look at the wheels on Beto's bike here. Um, they're pink, and these are the slim wheels. And I checked before making this video, they currently do not change color at all. They're normally red. I use a pink Yoshi for reference. And yet they do not change color. And I'm not sure if it's just a... Uh, yeah, you know, it's just the lighting. But, you know, the, the discussion of having more, like, color variation and stuff with the combo, because there's actually quite a lot of them. Car pieces, and it's not talking about more because, again, we talk about stuff that, that people want. You know, you've got characters and you've got, like, the cars themselves and all the other parts, like wheels and gliders, of course. But with tires, but with none of them change color. A lot of them, you get, like, an alternate variant, which is the same model but it's a different uh color and yeah some doesn't change color of course but it might there i'm not sure and i tried checking the gameplay but you only see birdo from this side so you don't get to see the inside wheels i do find it funny how they chose this bike for birdo to be riding on <laughs> i just find it crazy but yeah, now we move on to, because that's all I want to say about Birdo, um, we move on to potential additions in future updates, which might even include Wave 4 itself. The Wave 4 update might have more special things. We haven't had the full trade yet, yet of, course. of course. All we got here was uh, seeing this Nitro track, Yoshi's Iron, and seeing Birdo's here. There could be another character in Wave 4 that they show in the full trailer. There could be two new characters. You know, we don't know. But something we do know, and this comes from a Japanese press conference Nintendo did. They said, in, through all this description, um, they said returning characters from, from the Mario Kart series will be added in future waves. So, characters plural. It's not just Birdo. There's going to be more. Now, it specifies returning, which is interesting. Because I made this list a while ago, which to, do, to display like how complete Egg looks his roster is, because there's been a lot of complaints, and it's probably why we've got Birdo, because Birdo's like the biggest gap in the roster, alongside Diddy Kong. Yeah, people complain about his roster, but there are 30 unique characters, and you've got the, the, the clone characters on top, which is just variety. Um, I mean, you look at the missing characters, the ones that can return here. There are only eight, well, nine with Paratrooper, but we'll get to Paratrooper and how Paratrooper is probably going to be an alt. Um, but yeah, this does seem to narrow down what we will be getting. Um, and 
Yeah, I, I think there's like other things this means because does returning count Tor? Because you know, Tor comes. It's it's weird because Tor comes after Eight Deluxe. Then you've got Tor retrotracts Eight Deluxe, and obviously the two work together for this DLC. It's very odd, and I feel like they're referring specifically to the mainline games. But obviously, since since Tor's been a huge part of this DLC, it could also mean any character that's in Tor or is coming to Tor. Like Pauline. Like Kamek. And I will t discuss that. But yeah, I, I think the main focus here will be the missing characters from the past main games. Um, which are Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong Jr., Funky Kong, Honey Queen, Birdo, who is obviously now going to take the looks. So that brings it down. Um, P. Piranha, Wiggler, Rob and Paratrooper. So on the topic of returning characters, we know that Birdo will not be the only one now. But who else is most likely to join the roster alongside her? First we need to discuss how many new characters there actually will be, which is why I put the roster here. I'm going to immediately put down a minimum of three, for sure. Um, and that's because they mentioned future waves. So I assume we'll get at the very least one per wave. So if we get just third on wave four, then we can get another one in wave five and then a third in wave six. But I think they're probably going to give more, actually. And just having three characters would be really nice because you only need, like, a very small few to, like, really complete this roster. Birdo is definitely one of them. But yeah, I, I feel like they're going to go all out. Else why would they do this? And when you look at the roster, it's like, well, where are three characters going to fit? And there's a bunch of things to cover with this. Uh, of course, they could just have the rows be out of order, like they do with custom items. Um, or we could be seeing seven new characters and they take out the bottom row, like out of DLC in Mario Kart 8, took out the bottom row. Which, funny how I mention that, we don't know if Birdo is paid DLC or not. I think it's part of the, the update, like, like it's a free edition, but they haven't actually specified to my knowledge. So that's something worth keeping in mind. But I assume that um, the new characters will just be free, which is really cool of Nintendo to do that. Um, because they haven't, like, that, that wasn't advertised part of the boost calls pass. You're not going to get any extra sales, really, by having a, a, just characters in it, you know? Because the attraction is the 48 tracks. Um, but maybe it is part of the DRC. We don't know. Um, but yeah, at maximum, I can see us getting seven characters, which is basically everyone I've discussed. I could see them going for all of them. From like the past main games, like if they really want to do that, but I don't know. I feel if they were going for that, they they'd have started doing this earlier. Um, but again, I don't know. I'm just speculating. I'm giving various possibilities here, and hopefully, some of this I say will turn out true. I'll tell you, there's six they can have on the side instead of the seven at the bottom. Of course, they could just rearrange the roster entirely. You know, they they could bring the quote unquote quote unquote clone characters, um, and they make them one star, which I don't think they're going to do because they have different stats. Um, so it would just be kind of weird to have it like that. But it's definitely a possibility um, because there has been one case. Of them uh, doing this, even even though the clone characters are all separate, they have unique voice lines, animations, and even stats. And that includes the two villagers who, which which I thought had the same stats, because back in Mario Kart Eight, with the with the uh, DLC, they were one slot. They were just one slot, and they always had different stats. So, yeah, they, they have done it before. So, it's possible they do just, like, free up some spots in this grid. And they fill it up with the returning characters, like Birdo. We'll have to see. 
Speaking of stats, let's quickly spare us what Birdo's stats will be. It has been a while since we received a new character. However, all characters have been added since the launch of the game, including we use the LC. They have shared the same stats as someone else. And you can see you got a late week and each one has like at least one other who shares the stats. Now the obvious answer is well, Birdo will share Yoshi's stats, and I believe that's the most likely one. Unless they want to differentiate and make um Birdo like a different one, like have the same stats as Luigi or whatever, so then you have like each of the mediums have three of them. And also then you make her a bit more standout than Yoshi, because they have different stats. But it is possible that they do have four characters share. That's because like, if you look at the like us, they have done it before with Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Dry Bones, and the Lightweight Me. So yeah, Birdo is going to be in a medium category, probably with Yoshi. But yeah, I, I obviously don't know for sure yet. Now here I've got a list of all eight here in the mainline games that are actually by default most likely to return, I believe. Because I'm assuming by returning characters hitting me from the mainline games. Keep in mind that Birdo Reveal like had the double dash that connects them, so it will be returning characters. But again, they have used the tour icon for tour tracks, so I don't know whether they consider tour to count regarding this or not. But it says a lot of tall characters. So yeah, keep that in mind. And I will briefly touch up on them. But I do want to cover the mainline ones. Because I forgot the most relevant. And I've got them in order by most likely to be added. Um, and surprisingly, P. Piranha is at the top of this list. And basically, this is because there was actually another new track. Um, that's been added recently. And it was added to Mario Kart Tour. It's called Piranha Plant Cove, and it's likely to be another Nitro track that will appear in either Wave 5 or 6. And the interesting thing about this track is that it features P. Piranha's face on the track a lot. His face is onto this platform thing, and on the side of these stairways, amongst other places. So yeah, it's blatantly P. Piranha, it's not just generic Piranha Plants, this is like a fucking temple of P. Piranha. This is specifically a P. Piranha track. Which is wild. So, yeah, since there's people around past all over, and we saw Birdo was revealed alongside a track befitting of her because Yoshi's Island. Obviously, Birdo is heavily connected to Yoshi. Um, so, yeah, it just makes sense that a lot of these reveals will be tie ins to tracks. I don't think it will be specifically new tracks, but when we look at the prefix, there are like the Yoshi's Island one was a blank prefix. The end of the Fruit Cup, which presumably is where the, the uh, Yoshi's Island track will go. Wave 5, the end of the Cherry Cup, has a Nitro track. And Wave 6 has, like, three of the unlisted slots. So, lots of room for these Nitro tracks. And I am starting to believe, now that we've got, like, Yoshi's Island, you know, it is definitely coming across, like, those empty slots are actually just Nitro tracks, which, if they all, like, tie into a, a, a returning character, then fuck yeah, I'm all for it. And if you have bangers, like you, this Yoshi's Island track, and this Piranha Plant Cove track, which is multiple variants, then hell yeah, I am all for these new tracks. But yeah, this is blatantly P Piranha based. And considering we've had all the Nitros from Tor come to Mario Kart to look so far, you kind of think this will be in a track, be, be in the game. And if it's in the game, then there is not, not a shadow of doubt that P. Piranha will release alongside it. PD has been 20 years now. Double Dash released in 2003. They have not returned to a mainline game since. So this will be pretty huge. And I genuinely think he has the highest chance of returning, which is nuts for P. Piranha. Absolutely crazy. He told me 24 hours ago that Peter Piranha is probably going to be coming to Mario Kite Deluxe. I would be like, what the fuck are you on about? Are you okay? But yeah. So that's definitely a prediction I'm quite confident on. Um, 
Now, next one I'm confident on is Diddy Kong. Now, Diddy Kong, now that we have Birdo, Diddy Kong is the only character left, not in the game, that has appeared more than once. They're, they're more than just a one-off character because they appeared in Double Dash and Wii, much like Birdo. And with a roster getting this big, it's definitely odd to have a lack of additional Kongs. There, there are three Kongs here, and there's only just, you know, classic Donkey Kong on the roster. So it's about time we get Diddy, you know. Diddy alone, just because it's Diddy Kong, or I represent and the fact that he's been in multiple games, it just makes sense to have Diddy Kong. And, and when you think about tracks that will correlate with him, I think I've heard rumors of a, of a new DK track, but I haven't seen any, like, data mines or anything to support that, so I'm not going to use that as basis. But what I am going to point out is, there's a high chance of us getting another DK track. DK Summit especially, which could even be in Wave 4. We could see Birdo and Diddy just in the game by spring of this year, which would be wild. Because what I'm saying about the roster is, you literally have all your mainstays, except Birdo and Diddy. Which, you know, I'm even reaching at saying mainstays, we only appeared twice, but, you know. Yeah, so they could appear with DK Summit, or DK Mountain. We've got like four gameplay tracks coming up. We've had no Double Dash stuff until this wave where we have Birdo Show. And there's only like 11 retros left, especially when it looks like the unlisted prefixes are going to be Nitro tracks. So we have 11, which is still a solid amount. So it, I guess it makes sense to have characters here. Now it's retro characters when you've got a lot of tour stuff planned and a lot of just Nitro tracks in general planned, it makes sense to have these old characters to make up for the fact that there's there's been, there's a, there's a shift in this year to have less of the typical retro tracks. So I guess they are, I guess that does support my belief that they are going to focus on one from the mainline games. So those are Double Dash characters right now. And I mentioned there'll be like a minimum of three. And I think that most likely are these three. So I think there's going to be even more. Because I don't think I'm going to have three. And it's just going to be like, here's a Double Dash character. Here's a Double Dash character. Here's a character that debuted in Double Dash. They wouldn't specify that they've debuted from Double Dash if that's going to be the consistent of characters showing up. So, out of the characters that aren't in... Uh, that didn't debut in Double Dash. There is only one that I think is part enough that I'm for certain is probably going to show up. Funky Kong. Funky Kong is a wild pick, but all these one-off characters are wild, and Funky Kong is by far the most popular one. For popularity alone, I think they're going to want to put him in. And DK Summit, that is... Funky Kong is the embodiment of that, pretty much. It's DK Donkey Kong, not Funky Kong, but... You know, that that's... DK Summit is the embodiment of Wii. In, in terms of a track, it's got all the half-pipe stuff going on. And then you have Funky Kong, who is the most popular character in Mario Kart Wii. And with how popular Wii is, because they, they want to show that love for Mario Kart Wii. Think of all the, the Wii retro tracks you've been getting as DLC, more than any other mainline game. And... Now that we have Birdo, they just need to add Diddy Kong and Funky Kong, and then they have every character that was from Mario Kart Wii in 8 Deluxe. They've completed that roster, if they do that. And I think they're going to want to do that. Especially when you have people who, and there's a lot of people, a lot of idiots, who keep saying that Wii has the best roster in the franchise, even though... Eight looks as the same roster, minus three to characters, but then you have always have eight looks as various more stuff. So it's very weird. But always that means those three characters are very beloved and they know that. Since we have Birdo now. See, so yeah, I think they're gonna have Funky Kong, and I would imagine he'd come alongside DK Summer if they do continue the theme of having characters. Show with fitting tracks. 
again that might just be for Birdo because they thought oh that, that's perfect that, that, that just ha happens to tie in well which is kind of like what they do with their cup themes a lot of them don't make sense with the with what the cup's called but then you have for example a moon cup ends with a rainbow road where you drive on the moon that just makes sense so it's one of those now next is paratrooper who I think is likely but I don't see them being their own character I think, like, even though it looks like he loves on the clone characters, which I don't think is laziness because they have new animations and shit, right? But even then, I, I don't think Paratrooper passes because it's literally identical to Koopa Trooper, except they have wings and a different color shell. But the thing is, we have Shy Guy has nine colors, Yoshi has nine colors, Birdo has nine colors. It's got to be time to give Koopa Troopa a red shell variant, right? And if you're going to update Koopa Troopa and the looks, why not give him the wings? Give him the power wings. Then you have, then you can make Power Trooper. There are mods with like Google with the wings, and his animations do kind of match like Power Troopers. Um, the only reason I can see them like not having Power Troopers is just a, it's just like. Uh, a co costume you can make with regular Koopa is if they do like want to have more like wing based animations but yeah seriously all they need to do is make it make Paratrooper just some more customization and since Birdo's getting like the, the colour treatment they must be open for that I think surely we're going to see some more colour stuff and while I'm mentioning it I will say I hope Toad gets his colours we see blue toad, yellow toad, green toad, pink toad, well, purple toad, I think. I think that, that's the colour. But, yeah, you see those different colour ones of toad in the crowds of most tracks, especially in the boot school class. There are a lot of crowds that do feature paratroopers. They feature these different coloured toads. It would just make sense that they're an option to have. They're already in the game. Just just make us less players in Nintendo. And considering they add Birdo, they they care this much. I I I can't see them ignoring them. Like it's such a minor thing because the grand scheme thing is giving a turtle a pair of wings, and giving a mushroom and a turtle turtle shell some different colours. That's all I'm asking for here. But I think they will do it. Um, in terms of other possible costumes, I know lots of people are clamoring for like. All the tour outfits characters have, like Vampire Luigi, Waluigi, I mean. There's a ton of them. I don't know why that was the first to come to my mind. But yeah, there's a ton of them. I don't think they're getting in. Maybe like a classic Mario and classic Luigi. But any that like divert from being the, the regular costume, I don't see happening because it conflicts with what Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach are. You know, they're in a different costume and they have their own animations and stuff. And, yeah, I, I, if, if they were going to implement them, they'd probably do it with the different animations. And obviously, they, they probably know by now, people would just be angry if they do that. So it's, it's a waste of effort. Um, honorable mention to Luigi's Mansion King Boo. That's one I don't see happening, but it's one that would absolutely fit. Considering all you change is King Boo's eyes and the, the crown. Which is a shame we haven't actually got that because, like, the King Boo we have in the Mario Kart's, like, well, in King Boo and everything but Luigi's Mansion is just a big boo with a crown, like a, a pretty regular crown. And we even have Luigi's Mansion King Boo in um, Tor. So that is another possible thing. Again, not likely, but I'm grasping here. We're entering, like, the, the reaching territory where I make some wild fairies. Um,. And yeah, there's then the Mario Kart 7 characters, Honey Queen and Wiggler. And these are a bizarre pair, and unfortunately not too popular. However, I do adore Wiggler and Mario Kart 7, with their gloves on and the fact they react to him hit by turning red. They're also in Tor, you know? So I, 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 I feel it, Wiggler would be a really good pick, but I unfortunately don't think they're too likely. But I do think Wiggler has enough fans that like it that they there's a, there, there's consideration for adding Wiggler. I think it all depends on 
how many slots they have planned. If they have like a whole row, like I said, then I could see Wiggler definitely finding a slot there. I think there's room for Wiggler for sure. Um, but if it's just like a handful, like three, four, five, then maybe not Wiggler. I'm not sure. Um, and what makes me very uneasy is the fact we already got Maple Treeway and it was brought a year forward, which is very weird. I don't know if we'll see more of that where we see like a big shake up in like the, the presets. But I will give out a pretty crackhead theory about this here. And basically what I'm saying is what if Maple Treeway was released a year early because this year, Wave 6, we'll get a Nitro track that's more heavily Wiggler themed. And because obviously Maple Trio is going to be an Acorn Cup, they're like, okay, yeah, that's not going to work. We'll just have Maple Trio be a year forward, being a Rock Cup. Now, I'm very much reaching there. But I don't know. I don't know. We got a fucking P Piranha track, for fuck's sake. So anything is possible. I will keep reiterating that. And also, again, it may, the characters may come out and they might not be track related, but it would be weird if they released Maple Tree Way and then later they're like, okay, now we want to add a Wiggler. Like, I feel like they just would have had Wiggler in Wave 3 if they had planned for Wiggler being in this game. I really want Wiggler, but I think that's going to be the, the character I'm missing out on. Which is fine. It's, it's fine. I just wish you got some Wiggler stuff. Because we got the Wiggler cut in Maple Treeway. It would be so perfect out of a Wiggler racing on Maple Treeway with the Wiggler cart. <laughs> yeah, and it would be really interesting to get like heavyweights in this game, like Funky Kong and Peter Piranha. Do you see what like their stats are? Because we all know we got like the Walla Wiggler matter. If we can get some stuff. And if they do add, like, the heavyweight stuff, I would be cool with them giving them the same stats as the meta characters. Just because then it means we have a great variety of what the nerds are using, you know? We can get, like, Pete Piranha in, in the time trial leaderboards and shit. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling here. Honey Queen, which... Honey Queen has not much to say, admittedly. Um... Basically, with Honey Queen, I don't think she's going to get in because it's Honey Queen. Not very popular. And she's not even in tour. So it's not even good for Honey Queen. And Honey Queen doesn't have any tracks of her own. She has a battle track. Um, and, and that's another thing. I, you know, I, I'm not going to cover this much because I have no basis for it other than, well, we had new characters, we get new anything. So, new battle tracks, maybe? Because we actually has the most battle tracks. Marikai Deluxe comes second, even though it has a solid track section. But he might want to have the, the most of everything, the most tracks in battle mode, too. So, yeah, maybe they do implement the uh, the um, the Hive battle track. I can't remember its name. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. And if they did that, then Honey Queen being added alongside would make sense. Also, the the Peach Parasol, it changed colors for the princesses. It also changed to purple for Honey Queen. So, that's a neat little thing. Um, that doesn't mean she's going to get added, though. But, yeah, I, I'm reaching for all of these. I'm trying to think of a reason for each of these. And speaking of reaching, we've got Rob and Diddy Kong Jr. Now, Diddy Kong Jr., Again, like Honey Queen, just hasn't showed up at all. Diddy Kong Jr. actually is in Tor. It's like this uh, 3D version of like his pixelated sprite, which is pretty cool, but that wouldn't make sense being in the, the main games. You wouldn't give a slot to a digitized version of a character. You would just have the character itself, which no one cares about Diddy Kong Jr. enough to have that happen. And I don't think, for, like, considering there's obviously going to be a limited amount of slots... And I'm going to give three slots to the Kongs. We're going to get Diddy and possibly Funky. If I were to hazard a guess. But there is one any NES track left. And it's penciled in for Wave 5. And, you know, you want to have like a 
a Super Mario Kart rap from the SNEA. What, what, what the fuck did I say? SNES. Yes, <laughs> it is Super Nintendo Inter Entertainment System. I know what I'm talking about, I swear. Um, then you would have Diddy Kong Jr. But also, you could have Rob, because Rob is the embodiment of the NES. Because they'd be made for, like, for that console and shit. You know they debuted in Mario Kart DS, the first guest character in Total Mario Kart 8 DLC. Which is why Rob would actually fit quite well. You could put him on the row, like... We're talking about like limited slots, you know. We've got the eight characters here. You could have like them all in a row, in including Birdo. Then you have Power Tree would be an alt costume for Cooper. And then you have Rob be on the the the, the guest row. And you just put the villagers back into one slot. That is something they could do, you know, and that would be like the ideal way of doing it. Um, because then you have like the fucking <laughs> the Smash Horn of America, which you already do have pretty much, like come on. <laughs> but yeah, it'd be good to see Rob just because well we've had guest characters to put Rob back in. And maybe we're interested in Rob because of Mario Kart. And obviously I haven't seen Rob since not in tour again. But I don't know. Maybe we'll get some Rob stuff. I have no clue. But yeah, it does do it for these cars. Of course, there are tour characters. Um, well, and I do want to shout out a few. Like, I would expect Kamek to absolutely be in the top of the list if we're counting tour characters returning. Because there are files in the Wii U version of MK8 that have his racer icon. And he was also scrapped from the N64 roster and replaced with Donkey Kong, I think. So... It, that, so yeah, that's wild. He's been cut from two games. The second game in the series he's cut from, and he just never managed to show up. So if they are planning on bringing in racers, they've debuted and tour them. Kamek is a must-have, because he is long overdue for a mainline appearance. He absolutely deserves it. Um, and it'd be awesome to have him with, like, his broomstick car. And yeah, tour has a lot of, like, car assets and shit that they could pull in. Um, I don't know if they will add more vehicle parts, but again, it's, some it's possible. You, you see, look in here, list the cars from Mario Kart Tour. 279 cars from Mario Kart Tour, and that number is growing. And same goes for guiders, same goes for characters. Mario Kart Tour does not have tires as a separate thing. However, a lot of the vehicles have unique wheels anyway. Some, are, some have wheels that are just like from the game itself, like the slim wheels I mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, a lot of them are new, so obviously they could just turn on cars. A lot of them are just like the default ones that you see here. There's just so much stuff they could include. And now that we're seeing characters be included and, you know, the, the, the color idea comes from Mario Kart Tours, Birdo. Yeah, like, like we could get like any of this and there's a lot of old school classic hearts, you know, you got the, the sponge and the, the cloud nine here, you got the port gust, you got the streamliner, you've got so many old stuff that you could just use and then, you know, you've got like new shit as well, it is such a good selection of stuff and here on A Deluxe already does have a big section. Like I said, it's more so just we're kind of missing a lot of fan favorite, like old stuff. We have the B Dasher and the Pipe Frame, and of course, you have the good old standard cars. And that's kind of it. There's not a lot of returning pieces, but there is a ton of just brand new ones. There's like 50 summer pieces. Like, I, it's an insane amount. Even gliders is like 15 of them, and there's a ton in this game. You know, there's just so much they could bring over. Ice Blue Polkas, like, sure, yeah, I wouldn't expect, but it just does show how much there really is You that they could just introduce. There's so much here that, honestly, <laughs> Nintendo would be foolish to not just make another DLC. 
for for these exclusive car pieces maybe then you introduce some uh some new some uh new stats you know and you get these exclusive stats and shit by dlc i don't know but I like like I don't expect like a good amount, or else again, like I said, it would be a separate DLC. And considering how much has been put into the Boost Course Pass, I can't see us getting another DLC. Even though there is st this game is still money, you could keep making DLC, and I would not complain. No one would complain. But yeah, when when you've got characters that are coming for free, seemingly, if they're not a separate DLC. You know, we could definitely see a few things coincide with them. Of course, we haven't seen the Birdo carts, though. So, maybe not. You know, we haven't got proof of it yet. But they could always su surprise us, you know. And yeah, that, that's probably the last thing to touch up on. Of course, there's other things like items. I um, touched on earlier. Battle tracks. Like, stuff like that that you could see more of. But that's unlikely. Another thing that I guess is possible that I haven't discussed is new modes. Like, reverse mode, I do not see that happening. That'd be way too much. Um, because that, that requires changing a lot of tracks to make them beatable backwards. Um, but I could see that in the next game. That's one of something that's going to make it to mainline. Um, Mario Kart. Or you could get, like... Mission mode, people want that. Again, don't think it'll be in this game, but a, D, a good DLC idea and a good way to include a lot of earnable carts and shit would be mission mode uh, from DS. You do something like that, and that's some good single-player content. And then, like, like battle mode, in terms of actual... The, the modes, the type of battles, you have everything there. And, and some new stuff. Like, you've got Bob on Blast, and you've got... New shit like Renegade Rounder, which is just cops and robbers. So the battle mode now is pretty good. Like like when Ada looks released, it added a turn. So in my mind, they're probably finished with that. That's a, that's a complete battle mode. It's not like Wii U8 where they put no effort into it at all. It's really good in Ada Deluxe. The only thing that is kind of missing is like like I mean, even the item selection. You have an exclusive item, the feather. Which is in battle mode. Like, they put so much into that mode. Um, but more tracks will always be cool. But eight tracks for battle mode is plenty. Um, and they're all pretty good, I'd say. Um, especially our Luigi's Mansion one. But, but yeah, uh, in terms of like missing modes, you're just missing OG Balloon Battle. Because they changed it so that like there's a set timer. It's not a battle royale. This is what all Balloon Battle was. Which I do prefer... Like the idea of OG balloon power, where you can like like manage your own balloons and like blowing like like a DS and a pretty good battle mode with that. But I just I, I don't see that happening in this game because like online everything is timer based, so it makes sense why it's not like regular balloon battle um, because you've got a time limit. But it would be good to have that as like a selectable option for Balloon Battle. You have the two modes, you have the modern one and the old one. But even if we were to get that, I don't think it would be implemented online. But it would be really cool to have like a like Battle Royale Balloon Battle. Um, but again, maybe next game, it would be cool because like Block 4 Battle Royale, that's like your ideal way to do battle mode. But the battle mode has so much already, and I, I I don't think we will get it. But they can definitely surprise us again. Birdo was a surprise. Customize was a surprise. Updating all tracks that was a surprise. So for the last time, I will say anything is possible. And there's just a lot of my ideas. You know, I, I I've only just scratched the surface of like all the shit I could come over from tour. But I I won't go too in depth with that because. You know, like, 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 I'm sure there's not going to be much, but I do expect some things, you know. But yeah, that's all of the, the, the cards here. Anyway, before I continue to spew out more of my crackhead lunatic theories, I'm going to end the video here. Um, I'm hoping to get us out on the, the, uh, one year birthday of the Boost Course Pass. Um, which is actually a day after 
the direct up reveal the Ocean Line track, which is really cool, you know. It is definitely the biggest DLC I've seen. It's by far my favorite. I there, there's very few things that I've been so hyped for, like releases of. It's brilliant, and I'm sure I'll be doing more videos as soonish. But I did want to get this all done. I even had like a bit of a script, you know, um, which I think is about when I do make a script. But that is effort. But this video covering this didn't deserve that effort. Um, so yeah, happy birthday to the Boost Calls past, and I'm sure this year we'll have tons of good shit, you know, like, like, like we're not getting as many retros, but if we're getting like five nitros, according to the prefixes, which I'm all for, because the nitros so far have been absolute bangers, well, the nitros slash the tour non-siege tracks, which have been considered nitros, which will be interesting to see what they're labeled as if they return in like future games. But of course, Mario Kart 9 is a long, long time away, which I'm fine with. Like, like Mario Kart 8 itself is coming up on being 10 years old, you know? It, it, it was revealed in 2013, so we're close to an anniversary for its reveal. Oh, yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it's crazy how long this game survived. And I'm happy for it. I don't want, I don't need another Mario Kart game. It's perfect. So, yeah, I just want to cover all of that for you guys uh, again a lot of it is just theorizing but literally anything is possible but the the, the key notes here are we, we are definitely getting more returning characters we don't know if that counts tour or not now what's most likely is pd piranha because of the the new tour track which will likely be a nitro track and also diddy kong because he, he is the only reigning character who is absent from 8 Deluxe now, but we have Birdo, who has been in more than one Mario Kart game, excluding Tor. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!